So hello, my name is Wesley Wark. I'm a visiting professor at the Graduate School of Public and International Affairs at the University of Ottawa. But over a lengthy academic career, I've spent a lot of time at the Monk School of Global Affairs at the University of Toronto. But it's nice to be in Ottawa because it allows me to teach this course for public servants on intelligence and international security. The course has been running for a number of years, co-taught by myself and a colleague, Greg Fife. My background is an academic in this field of intelligence and international relations. I've been studying this subject for over 30 years now, and I also have some experience on the policy side, working with governments, both in Canada and elsewhere, on policy advice and as a consultant. Greg had a long career in government, but is also deeply engaged during that career and after with the academic literature. So we're soulmates on this course, but we bring different perspectives to it. I think when we designed this course, our idea really was twofold. One was that there was a, an appetite out there, particularly among public servants, to learn more about this rather exotic and often very secretive world of intelligence and security, whether they're working inside it and might know it narrowly, or working outside it but need to know it, or wanting to get into the security intelligence community. And we also felt that it was important, even for those with a considerable amount of experience, that they have a capacity to broaden their horizons, understand the world a little more critically than they might have a chance to do in their day-to-day -day lives, and just basically keep learning learning about something that is very complex and evolving. So we designed the course curriculum with that uh, kind of idea in mind, that it would be a strategic overview, that it would cover a range of topics during an intensive one-week period. And we look not only at the general landscape of intelligence and how it functions, but we drill into some of the details about the, the intelligence system itself and what its component parts are in terms of intelligence collection and its challenges, analysis, the business of making sure that intelligence is relevant to policy, we spend some time looking at case studies where the students will have a chance to really get into the details of, of some sort of critical intelligence issues, particularly in a post-9-11 world. And we have some exercises which we, which we think are tremendous fun but also great learning experiences. We have the students combine in teams to do a simulation of an intelligence threat assessment, which they typically enjoy, or certainly over the past five or six years we've taught this course. And we also give them an opportunity at the end of the course to uh, have a discussion with senior officials in the Canadian government in a, what we call an officials lunch and round table, where, where they can pose an issue that's come up for them in the course that they want to get some official feedback from, some senior official feedback from and it, it serves as a bit of a, of a sort of intimate town hall experience for them and again students seem to find that very valuable so we range over a lot of topics from the, the very general kind of high level picture of intelligence and security and the challenges involved in, and some critical topics like terrorism and cybersecurity. but we also try and drill into some of the details so that with a kind of diverse audience of public servants with different kinds of backgrounds and different degrees of exposure to intelligence, we're trying to make the course something relevant and valuable to all of them. In terms of the, the kind of skills that we're trying to teach, we don't sell this course or talk about this course as a kind of training course in the typical kind of sense. We're, we're not trying to substitute for the sort of training that they'll have available to them professionally inside the government. Our, our intention is to give them a more strategic picture that will take them into areas of security and intelligence that they may not have experienced in their day-to-day -day jobs, might not have had any training about, or if they're moving around in the security intelligence community, which is expanding now and there are job opportunities opening up all the time, they might have some advanced knowledge of a kind of new job that they're going into. I think it's also important for Greg Fife and myself that the students come away from this course with a sense of how important it is to keep learning learning about this topic, so that it's not something that they're going to know enough about simply on the basis of, of what they'll learn in our course, what they might have learned before, or, or limited training that they'll have. We want to kind of encourage them to understand that, that there are you know, huge challenges and complex questions out there and they have to try to keep on top of them through reading and, and exposure and further training to the extent that they can. And we also tell the students, and they seem to enjoy this, that part of the idea behind the course is to give them some critical skills in terms of thinking about the challenges of intelligence and security. So we're, we're trying not to reinforce a conventional outlook or an official wisdom about intelligence and security. We're not overly critical about security and intelligence practices, but we want to develop develop that sort of sense of an ability to be self-critical and to have a sort of wide frame understanding of the problems so that these people will stay fresh intellectually on the job and even if their jobs don't always on a day-to-day -day basis involve intelligence and international issues that when those kinds of issues come across their desk they'll have the kind of critical thinking tools that we've tried to instill in them. 
So that's the idea of the course in a nutshell. And I think on the basis of the, the feedback we've had from students over the past five or six years, that the course seems to satisfy and excite the students that take it, no matter what their background. And we've had very junior people come to us from the Government of Canada and quite senior people. And it's a very interesting mix of students always in the course because you'll have people from multiple departments and different kinds of backgrounds. And one of the advantages of the course, frankly, is not just what Greg and myself tell the students and the material that we give them, but the opportunity to have discussions both around our seminar table and in the corridors and over lunch and coffee breaks among themselves. It's part of a contribution to developing what has to be a community of officials.